Hey yo, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 8th to the 14th of November. This is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Scorpio, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the chariot, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the page of swords in reverse, okay? So your challenge here is the chariot. Time to move forward, okay? Time to get going, move forward, get in that car, get where, get, get into something and get moving. <laughs> That's your challenge right now. We're going to clarify the chariot and see what the important message is here for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the two of swords, the strength and the two of cups. So I feel like in the recent past, there was a really strong connection that you had with someone. I feel like you had a vision for this connection. Maybe you needed to decide what direction you wanted to take with this connection. Did you want to commit to this person? Did you want to just stay friends? Did you want to just keep things casual? I feel like, you know, someone here really wanted stability with you in the past. Okay with the strength card here we're going to clarify this and see what the important messages are or were for you in the past in a moment now in the present moment you have the seven of cups the page of pentacles and the justice something here that has been very confusing and uncertain for you is going to come back into balance um, i'm also getting that through this situation uh scorpio that comes back into balance there's going to be an opportunity that comes in or there is an opportunity in the present moment that's coming in for you a lot of you may see this a lot of you may not see it we're going to get more information about this opportunity with the uh the page of pentacles here for you in a moment now in the near future you have the hanged man the seven of pentacles and the hermit I feel like in the near future, there's going to be a bit, very big opportunity for you where you can potentially invest into something, or there may be an opportunity for you to um, be a part of something big here with the Seven of Pentacles. But I'm also getting that there's a lot of contemplation and a lot of uncertainty surrounding this situation. Um, I'm getting, for some reason in the near future, I'm getting speculative, speculative investments. Okay, this is what I'm getting with the Seven of Pentacles. But someone here may not be 100% sure about it because the hermit and the hangman these are two very passive energies okay so we're going to find out why that may be in a moment now what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck scorpio you have the page of swords the five of pentacles the ten of swords judgment the lovers and the wheel of fortune all in reverse so i feel like there's something here about a relationship um that a lot of you, you're trying to make sense of why something here ended, but it didn't completely end, okay? Uh, some of you may feel like, no, the situation isn't completely over, okay? But in a way, it is, okay? In a way, it is. Um, I'm also getting with the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Someone here is no longer... Um, you know, watching or spying or trying to get information. They're kind of just in this place of, okay, let's just see how things go. Let's go with the flow kind of thing. Now, if you have been waiting for somebody from your past to come back, or if you've wanted to return back to someone, I see that possibly happening. Okay, this week, that can possibly be something that happens. Why? Because a lot of you are still connected to somebody here that you disconnected from. Okay, there was either a separation or a missed opportunity here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. Okay, so it looks like there was at some point a very strong connection that you had with someone, but things may have not worked out between you and this person. So as a result of that, there may be an opportunity for this person to come back around or for you to come back around to them to resolve some sort of situation that didn't end correctly. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing in terms of what you don't see coming. Now let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on. Let's clarify the chariot, which is your challenge. So the chariot is clarified by the world, the three of swords and the ace of pentacles. 
Okay, so your challenge here has a lot to do with you completely closing out a cycle that has caused you nothing but pain. Okay, the situation has caused you a lot of pain. It's caused you a lot of um, sorrow, hurt, and spirit is saying it's time to completely close the cycle out. You are in a period right now, Scorpio, of your rebirth. Okay, your 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 new solar cycle. So whether you are a rising moon or a sun Scorpio now is the time for a new opportunity to come into your life but if you're still holding on to pain trauma um, something here that came to an end you're still stuck on it that may be the reason why you're not able to completely move forward and that's why your challenge is the chariot because spirit is saying look Scorpio time to move forward and reap some sort of new opportunity there's the door you know and 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 it's open for you if you want it okay but you have to work on you know, healing yourself and closing out some sort of painful cycle, cycle, excuse me, that really affected you. That's your challenge. That's what I'm seeing. Now, let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the two of cups. So the two of cups is clarified by the six of wands the ten of pentacles and the seven of swords someone here in the past was really successful i don't know if this was you or your person but someone here was really really successful and i feel like uh that could have been the main reason why this person was with you scorpio or this could have been the main reason why you were with them i'm just being honest this is what i'm picking up here and the reason why i'm saying that is because the seven of swords is a card of deception it's a card of not being able to trust someone completely i feel like in the past you weren't able to completely trust someone here so although you wanted to invest your energy and time into this i think a lot of you started to realize that somebody wanted you more because you were successful okay rather than actually really loving you and really wanting you so this is why i'm seeing here in the recent past a lot of you needed to make a decision about whether or not you wanted to actually move forward with this person tell me more about the two of wands the two of wands is clarified by the knight of pentacles the hanged man in reverse and you have the Ten of Swords. So I'm really getting that things started to slow down here for you with this person in this situation. Things weren't moving maybe as quickly as you wanted to. Something here came to an end, okay? And it, the reason why it came to an end is because someone here was moving way too slow and the other person was like, hurry up, let's get going with this. Let's get on with it. You know, let's get married. Let's do what we need to do. And some of you may have not felt comfortable being forced or pushed into a relationship very quickly okay so this is what i'm seeing here in the past someone was really determined to bring stability very fast into the situation but there was also a lot of trust issues associated with it now let's talk about the present moment now in the present moment something here needs to be set right we're going to find out what that is in a moment let's clarify the seven of cups So the seven of cups is clarified by the four of wands you have the moon and the tower okay so in the present moment someone here is really confused about a relationship okay either you're living with someone or you're dating someone someone here is like okay so what's going to happen with us and i don't feel like this person's telling you this this could also be you because the tower is here so some of you right now you know something here is changing and maybe you're not talking about it or you're not saying anything about it and i feel like this has a lot to do with a relationship you know a relationship that's supposed to be bringing you stability in your life right um, so in the present moment, there's a lot of confusion surrounding a relationship and nobody's really talking about it, but it's slowly breaking down is what I'm getting. Now there is an opportunity to set something right here. Tell me more about what needs to be set right here in the present moment when it comes to Scorpio and love. Okay, so the justice is clarified by the Hierophant, the Four of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so it's very clear to me in the present moment that for many of you, there is definitely a healing that needs to take place. Someone here, I feel like this is you and your person, the Hierophant is here. Someone here wants to get married. They want to heal. They want to get married and they want stability here. And they're willing to do whatever it takes to bring about um 
you know, healing. Now for others of you, there's a divorce happening in the present moment. That's not for all of you. I'm getting two stories. Some of you are divorcing from someone right now. And um, the more you focus on healing, the more you focus on going within and doing the inner work, the more you can repair yourself and move forward to a new opportunity. That's what I'm seeing for some of you. And there is a new opportunity in the present moment with the um, Page of Pentacles. Tell me more about this opportunity for Scorpio in love. Okay, so the Page of Pentacles is clarified by the Empress, the Knight of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. So it's really clear to me here that a confusing situation that you're in is, is not going to be confusing for much longer because for many of you, there's going to be options. Some of you have multiple options when it comes to love. There's one or two people here that I see that you're really interested in. One um, is really interested in growth. They're interested in, you know, moving towards creating things. Um, this is, there's also somebody here who's very charming as well too. So some of you may be interested in two different people. Okay. This could be also an option too. Um, but I'm seeing one major cycle that's been very difficult for you is going to come to an end and there's going to be a new opportunity for you. Um, the question is, are you going to be able to identify this opportunity in the present moment? Okay. So this is what I'm seeing here now in the present moment, it gets really interesting because an investment opportunity is available to you. There's a lot of potential here. Now this could be an investment into a person, a job, a business, maybe some sort of online investment platform. I don't know, but there's something here that a lot of you have an opportunity to invest in. We're going to find out what this is when we clarify in a moment. But first I want to clarify the hanged man. So the hanged man is clarified by the three of wands, the ace of swords and the 10 of cups. So I feel like in the near future, a lot of you are going to be really searching and seeking and waiting for love, true love, you know, fulfillment, happiness, truth, clarity. So I see a lot of you not taking action in the near future because a lot of you are waiting for someone, someone or something to come to you. And you're thinking a lot about your life. What is your life purpose? Why are you here? What can you do moving forward? Um, and that may have a lot to do with an investment that you want to make. Tell me more about this investment, the potential investment here for Scorpio in the near future. So the seven of pentacles is clarified by the 10 of wands, the queen of pentacles and the judgment. So somebody here is going to come and bring you an opportunity. There's going to be an opportunity that is presented to you uh, after a major uh, cycle that has been very difficult for you comes to an end. There's going to be a major cycle coming to an end for you. I would say more closer towards the end of next week. And I'm really getting with the judgment here. A lot of you are going to be able to really um, go through the awakening that's necessary because a lot of you still need to go through some sort of an awakening to completely connect with how you can move forward into something. And this has a lot to do with your finances. This has a lot to do with some sort of investment. So before you decide to invest into something, a lot of you are going to be um taking your time and really seeing how this can benefit you and bring happiness to you. And I feel like in that case, there's going to be a lot of inner work that needs to be done, a lot of time taking out to really look within. Okay. And I know that sounds repetitive and boring. Um, but a lot of you are going to need to go through that process in order to really connect with whether or not this is something that you want to invest your energy and time into. So let's get some advice for you. What is the advice? So the advice here for you is the nine of pentacles, the six of swords and the eight of swords. So your advice here is to really um, recognize when it's time for you to release yourself from something. There is a situation, Scorpio, that you're being called to release yourself from. That's why your challenge is the chariot, because spirit is saying it's time to move on past something that has been holding you back and making you feel nothing but pain, trauma, hurt. Um, just feeling unstable here. And spirit is saying it, it's time for you to remove yourself from the situation and start the process of investing into yourself. The nine of pentacles is all about how we invest into ourselves, how we put into ourselves, how we pour into ourselves to create the best version of ourselves. And by us creating the best version of ourselves, people see that and people start to follow that. People appreciate that, right? So 
For many of you right now, your advice here is to ask yourself, what is holding you back? What is what is making you feel restricted? What is stopping you from living your life completely and being the independent, autonomous person that you're supposed to be moving forward, okay? So Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.